we're going to continue uh, with our next portion of the evening where we get the honor to interview three of the First Image staff who work in the clinic. So uh, let me introduce first uh, Rachel Wilson. She is the Director of Programs and our AVA Health Clinics. Uh, Hannah Couch, she is a ultrasound nurse who works at a few of the different clinics. And Christy Noel, who is the Assistant Manager at Gresham. Welcome, thank you for sharing with us tonight. I remember last year, I so appreciated hearing the day in and day out stories and realities of this work. So thank you for sharing it. This first question, and each of you, please answer each of these questions. We'll start with you, Rachel, for this first one. The theme for the evening, as we've been talking about, is meant for good. And we're focusing on the way that what was intended for evil, God has used for good. How have you seen God's good work in this last year? Absolutely. I have the joy of overseeing the staff for the three clinics. And so one of the ways that I have been able to bear witness to the goodness of God is in the hearts of these women that work with our patients. And to see that as they seek first Christ, they have been women that are filled with compassion and patience and kindness and an incredible amount of love to do their work really well with excellence, as well as a lot of unity and care for one another as they have entered into that work. I also have seen some really fun answers to prayer mm. as we have, uh, we're, we're very committed to praying together uh, regularly as a team, um, and it has been so fun to see the way that God, when we've named our prayer requests together, prayed over them together, and seen things come through um, together. It has been so, so fun. It's been beautiful. Yes, uh, God is good, right? Amen. Um, and yes, it is so true. What God is meant for, or what the enemy has meant for evil, God has completely turned it around. As you saw, the enemy meant for evil by um, trying to stop two of our clinics. And um, to be honest, all the people around our nation that would love nothing more than to see clinics like ours close down. Um, but God turned it around. And thanks to many of you in this room through financial support and ultimately prayers, um, all three of our clinics are up and running. And we are, have our doors open and we're able to welcome patients. And it's been such a blessing. Yeah, it really has. God um, is just so faithful to us. Um, I just, from that question, I just remember um, when I was even interviewing for this job to work here. And um, I soon realized as I was applying that, oh, this is the Gresham Clinic that I'm applying for. Um, you know, the one that is going through all of the renovations. And um, I really had to, to pray about it. Because um, if I'm honest with you guys, I was nervous if this was even a safe place um, to work at. And from, you know, recent events, and the more that I prayed and talked with wise people around me, um, I got this very strong sense that God had his hand on this organization and forever will um, have his hand and he will be faithful to us. And looking to now, three weeks ago, on October 2nd, the Gresham Clinic was able to open up and we were able to open our doors. So many people have come around in unity um, to, to give their time, um, to give their funds to help this happen. And that has been wonderful to see. And I'm just thinking about the video that we saw earlier too with Leah talking about her hopes and dreams um, for this clinic, you know, that, that first woman was able to walk through our doors. And we've already seen groups of high school students uh, come to us, and that has been wonderful in just the past three weeks. So it's, it's really been wonderful, the faithfulness of God. Amen. 
Next question, and uh, Hannah, we'll start with you on this one. So there have been a lot of uh, significant changes recently. The name changes in the clinics from pregnancy resource centers to Ava Health, changes to the processes within the clinic. How have you seen those changes impact the clients you're serving? Great question. Yes, so we're now Ava Health, um, and with a broader name, we're able to draw in that many more ladies. So whether they're coming in for STD testing, whether they're coming in for just a pregnancy test or that first or second trimester ultrasound, um, we're able to welcome them. And um, it, the change has just been a great one. We still offer um, all of our services at no cost, which is such a blessing to so many of our patients that do come in. Um, and ultimately, these ladies are just seeking answers. They're seeking guidance, hope, encouragement, um, a hug, like all the above. Um, and one, I'm specifically reminded of one patient that came in, and uh, when she called our scheduling line, she had already told herself that if her t test was positive, her pregnancy test was positive, that she was just going to schedule an abortion. She had um, no support system, no insurance, just no nothing going for her, and she thought the idea of even possibly being pregnant was so overwhelming for her. <laughs> So fast forward to her appointment date, and uh, her pregnancy test was positive. So she took a few moments to go through every emotion imaginable, shock being the forefront of that. Um, but we were able to just slowly walk through that with her and process that with her. And then it came time to the ultrasound time. And in that moment, as she's staring at the monitor, she says, there's no way that I could have an abortion now. And there's nothing more powerful than that initial ultrasound um, just for it to become a reality. And when they see that heartbeat on the screen, something just changes. And they're overcome with emotion, every kind of emotion. But they, they always just say it's how amazing it is. And just that, that earliest little heartbeat that they can see, it just changes them. So. That's amazing. Our nurses do so much, um, and I'm just so grateful for each and every one of them. Um, on the advocate side of things, um, we have made a lot of changes on how our appointments run in the past year um, with the goal of making them uh, more cohesive and consistent so that every patient that comes in has the same experience. Um, and it's really risen our level of professionalism for sure. Um, and something that we have really um, tried to make important is that holistic experience. We tell every patient when they come in, we're a holistic clinic, which means we're going to talk through emotional support. We're gonna talk through relational support, um, physical support, of course, and we also talk about spiritual support. And um, something that really excites me is that now we get an opportunity at every appointment to have a spiritual conversation with our patients. And it kind of looks like this. We, we have a conversation with them and we start talking about their support system and even some self-care techniques that they might have. And through that, we get to know a little bit about them and their story as well. And then at the end of their conversation, we ask each one of them, would you like to receive a prayer of blessing over you? And so we, if they say yes, we pray uh, Numbers 6, 24 through 26, which just says, may the Lord bless you, may he protect you, may the Lord shine his face down upon you, and may the Lord uh, give you, be gracious to you and show you his peace and his favor. And, you know, since we've started this process, I personally have not had one person refuse a prayer of blessing over them. And we, all the time, we have people opting in for spiritual follow-up that they can, they can have more spiritual conversations in the future. And so that's just been a wonderful change since then. Uh, it's such an honor to get to see, to sit with women in those spaces, to get to see the team do that. And I, I can attest to seeing our, our surveys and our Google reviews. They're happening and they're good. Um, and it's so beautiful to see our team is confident and they can trust each other and they can trust that the experience that our patients are having when they come in the doors is, is excellent. And that's one of the things that we're continually 
continually been working on together is to say, how can we get this even better? How can we make this even better? And how do we get them in the door? And how do we care for them consistently across the board? So I, we, have, we have their results from their survey to say that patients are loving it, and we want to, and we're loving it, we want to love it even more. So like, how do we keep making it even better? It's been really fun. Amen. Final question. Uh, as you think about this next season, what are you feeling most hopeful for as you continue to serve your clients? Um, I'm just hopeful to see even more uh, young women come through our clinic. Um, we're at a day and age where you can find so much information online, um, and it's even easier to access abortion online as well. And so uh, with so many of your support in here, we've been able to really increase and invest in our online presence and in our marketing. And um, so we are able now for more and more women to find us online. And so I'm just really excited for more and more women to come flooding in um, because of the investment that we've had in our online presence. Yes, um, what am I most hopeful for? Uh, honestly, just that the Lord will just continue to provide, just like he has, um, that our ultimate goal here at First Image is just to share the love of Jesus. Um, especially how gracious and merciful he is, not just to the ladies that come through our clinic, but to every single one of us here in this room. So um, just hopeful that the Lord will just continue opening all the conversations that we get to have with these ladies. I am I'm really hopeful and super excited about just the reputation that Ava Health uh, already is building. As Christy mentioned with those high school students, our clinic in Gresham is located just a couple blocks from high school. And it's so fun to see um, that there's, there's a, a reputation building for this is a place you can go when you need support, talk to some women. Um, so I'm super hopeful about that continuing. And I also, I mean, this, this sounds like a, a pitch you would make to an event like this, but I, it's genuine. I just want you to know that this is a really special work. Like, it's, it's a really special work to stand in a space where you talk about something like abortion in a way that is compelling and kind and filled with the love of Christ. And so I'm excited, honestly, about the church of God. God, that people who love Christ, net, like linking arms together, to do that more in the city of Portland and Beaverton and Gresham, because we need it. We just need people that love the Lord and link arms together and learn how to have these conversations that are really volatile and tender and fill them with the grace of God. So that's what I'm hoping for, and I'm anticipating it because he's good like that. I think he's going to keep doing that. Amen. When I think about your stories, I think about our Lord's greatest commandment. Love God, love each other, and you are modeling that so beautifully in our city. So thank you for your service. Thank you for the way you bless people in our city. May God continue to bless you as you do it. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks, Please give them you. a hand. <laughs>